The GORUCK GR1 is damn near a unicorn in the EDC community because of its hard use, its 1000D Cordura. Let's take this thing home and check it out from the bottom to the top. All right, guys, bear with me. This is the top down view because I think this bag is so damn awesome. I had to get a close up of it. The GORUCK GR1. This thing actually measures 3.2 pounds. It measures 12 and a half inches in width. It's 20 inches high and it can expand out to about 6.75 inches so i really like this bag i have been looking at this bag for months and months and months and i was like man there's so many people that have this bag and they always say this bag is so awesome but i've kind of stayed away from bags with molly on the front because i really don't like the look of a tactical bag you know in and out of the city and if something ever happens i really believe in that gray man look i want to be undercover i don't want anybody looking at me like i'm a part of the military because i'm not and i just didn't like that tactical look but this bag is built so well that i wanted to take a chance on it and check it out and i can say this is an awesome bag let's walk through it from the bottom to the top and i'll talk about go ruck a little bit everybody kind of knows go ruck because they you know they do the challenges and they do the ruck plate thing but i'm not into all of that i just wanted a great edc bag and so this has been my edc bag for the last couple of weeks and i've been loving it i got no complaints about it ah let me stop i got a couple of complaints about it but we'll get to those all right so let's go through this thing from the bottom all right down here in the bottom go rec already tells you this thing has like a false bottom so there's some extra padding down here on the bottom that actually protects your laptop and anything else that you want to put inside of this bag as you move up the bag you have three rows of molly right here and it's very well stitched it's very well done and all the stitching throughout this bag is very well done um, you can attach pouches on the front of this bag but I don't because and I probably never will because that's not my thing to have pouches kind of strapped outside of the bag I just would maybe I would attach like a carabiner clip on the outside just as an extra grab handle or if I want to grab the bag and you know hang it up or something like that but nothing else other than that as we move up the bag a little bit we get to this slash pocket in the front and it's very deep it actually runs from this zipper right here to the bottom of the bag so there is some complaints about this I have the bag kind of like packed out right now like I would carry it for EDC and I can tell you that it's very kind of difficult to get in and put your your wrist all the way down to the bottom of the bag because there's no organization there's no high-vis lining inside of the front pocket or inside of the interior of the bag it is a clamshell opening in the interior of the bag, but I would have liked to see some high vis lining in this front front pocket specifically. I would have liked to see some type of organization or at the top of it so you can actually get to some organization when you lift that first zipper pocket or be able to zip it down in the front. That would I don't think that would have taken away from the aesthetic look of the bag and that would have made this front quick access pocket a lot better but let's run in here and see what i actually have i have this pouch right here this is a clc pouch these come in a pack of three and i'm gonna roll in and include everything that i have in my bag and put it in links down in the description amazon links if you want to grab something so i just put a little paracord right here on the on the zipper pull and you can kind of see what i have i have some double mint gum some Burt's Bees right here. And I have some Nivea hand cream. Gotta have your hand cream, especially because this is getting cold. And I got a little lighter right here and some broken up gum that's kind of fell apart in this little bag. But that's like my quick access items I wanna get to really quickly. So what else do I have in this front pocket? I actually have a little Maxpedition Slim wallet right here. So that right there keeps my IDs in it. I'm not gonna open it up because I don't want you guys to be all in my business, but that's what it is, a Maxpedition Slim wallet. And then I have this little Moleskin notebook. It's, I think it's three by five, and that's what I take to meetings and stuff. I'll grab one of my pens and this little three by five notebook, very professional looking. And 
I could take it to a meeting that doesn't look out of place. And then I also have in this front pocket, you can see I'm kind of struggling to get inside of it. Um, I have my Beats right here. And these are the Power Beat Pros. I gotta pronounce the name right. There's been so many Beats that, you know, I wanna make sure I get the names right. But yeah, these are some awesome little Bluetooth wireless headphones, kind of linked towards bass, bass heavy, but I really like them. As we move up to the top of the bag, you do get a little morale pouch filled. So that's a little hook and loop. If you remove whatever morale patch you wanna put on there, you got a little, you know, American flag representation right there with the stitching. I stuck this little morale patch over it. It says you'll float too. So basically this has come from the movie It. And if you guys have ever seen It, there's a scene where the brother Georgie goes down into the sewer to get his little boat and the clown is down there, the evil clown, and then the clown basically rips his damn arm off. So that's pretty, so that's what that's what that patch is all about. So let's flip this bag over to the side right here. You that you have a, like a continuation of this molly on the side. So you have a place where it's three rows by two. So you can hook additional molly pouches. Again, I usually stick like a pencil on the side. I can't really tell you how well this bag is stitched. It's, it's kind of the best stitching I've seen on a bag as far as mass production. And it's, the whole bag is made out of thousand d cordura so this is not waterproof but it's water resistant so you know that cordura has such a tight weave in together that it's going to hold back some water you'll actually see some beading on the bag like this go ruck actually offers uh the scars warranty on these bags that they produce so the scar what the scars is all about is basically if anything happens to the bag if you damage it in any way they'll repair it for you or replace it kind of like no questions asked and i really appreciate that because i'm not too hard on my bags but things happen of course so let's take a look at this back panel again everything is really well done on this back so the shoulder straps themselves i want to kind of highlight how well these shoulder straps are stitched in. You see the box stitch and it's double double sewn right here on this box stitch. And then above it, it's got another two rows of bar tack stitching. So this shoulder strap is not coming off at all. And then on the top handle, you actually, if I can line it up here on the camera, you guys can see another box stitched area and the grab handle itself is very comfortable very chunky and beefy got a lot of purchase on this bag um it's not vented at all but just the care in the stitching is excellent underneath the grab handle itself you have a little slot where you can ah it's got some velcro right there and you can run out your hydration hose down the end of this bag out the out of the bag and then down the shoulder straps themselves these shoulder straps are very thick they're about an inch and a half in depth themselves so that's about an inch and a half of padding very very pa padded padded up really where well and i really haven't broken in the shoulder straps quite yet just because i haven't had the bag this long um and then you have some some little molly attachments gear points right here on the, the bag itself where you can probably attach some different items or if you wanted to include a sternum strap on the bag you can run it across now let's check out this back panel on this bag the back panel itself is super comfortable very comfortable now i would have liked to see some type of better airflow going on in this back panel but i can't complain about the comfort of the bag itself it's kind of cooler right now so i don't have that much heat going on outside i know that i'm going to get like a sweaty back in the summertime with this bag but i'm kind of prepared for that i'm it's like a cross or a trade-off because i know how well this bag is made up so you have some stitching here a couple of sections right here on the top you have a little ykk zipper like I said before YKK zippers all around and then this the zipper pulls themselves have like a little bit of paracord attached to them with some heat shrink around them let's go into this back panel 
And in this back panel, you, I was able to fit a 15 inch laptop right here. This is my Dell XPS. And this has been an excellent laptop, super fast. This is what I edit all my videos on right in here. And this is my workhorse. What else did I stick in this back panel is a little document sleeve. And I use this document sleeve to carry around like if I get a paper at work or something like that and I don't want it to get crumpled up I'll stick it in this document sleeve and in here I have uh, this is the instructions on how to write you know read the rosary or recite the rosary I have some checks I have some pictures of my family that I always keep with me me catching some big old fish hey and my daughter my son my daughters and my son so all that stuff kind of rides with me in the back i also keep like some maps of dc so this is like one of those cheap sightseeing maps you can see it's been in my bag for a really long time and then this is a maryland map right here so i live in maryland so if i try to escape the city if something ever happens i can get look reference the dc map to get out of dc and then look at the maryland map and then these are just some checks that i keep if somebody needs a check so that's kind of what i keep in this document sleeve on the regular basis so all of that fits right there in this back panel zipper super smooth all the way around they call these their silent pull zippers and they're pretty silent i mean they're not super silent but they are pretty silent you can kind of hear what's going on down here in the bottom of the bag there's some reinforcement that's going on right here on the edges if you could see that and that's like maybe an inch piece of um, nylon webbing I would say and it's sewn in supporting the side of the bag itself so that's about it for the top of the bag and the side of the bag and the back of the bag let's go into the main section of this bag and check it out so again we have big number 10 YKK zips that go all the way around the bag itself we'll undo that and this bag is a clamshell opening so we're gonna open it all the way up let's talk about the flap section so this is the flap of the front of the bag right here so you kind of can see that so on the flap itself you have two zipper pockets going on so this first zipper pocket i hope i can get this in camera on this first zipper pocket right here you can see it says gr1 and it says lifetime guarantee so go ruck right there so inside of this little top pocket right here i have all kinds of little food stuff you know i have my little uh yuko spork set and that's you know if i get a meal or something at work and i need a fork and spoon i could definitely use that it's got a spoon it's got a knife let me show you guys real quick it's got a spoon this is a spoon and then it's got a knife on the other side and then they have the the fork itself and then you can connect them together if i can remember how to do it you can connect it together to get some length on whatever you're using like maybe it's cooking in a pot or something and they kind of nest into one another once you put them back together they kind of nest into one another and i kept the little bungee that it came with and i just run it through the middle just to as a double layer of security so i don't lose them um because i don't want to lose either one of them so i'll just do that and then what else do I have in there? I have some crystal light kind of packets that I'll throw in my water because I need to drink water, but I hate it. And then I have a metal straw because why not? And then I have some nuts. These are like some 100 calorie nut packets, some breath mints because, hey, whose breath doesn't get funky? I got some meat sticks and now we're back to looking at this pocket itself. You can see it's not very deep. I would say probably about four or five inches deep. And you can stick a lot of different items in there. It's a great way to actually get to the interior of the bag. So like if you want to get quick access to the interior of the bag, you can put all your quick, you know, quick access items in the front right here on this pocket instead of using this front slash pocket. I see a lot of people actually doing that. Now moving down to the second pocket on the lid, we're still on the lid. We got another YKK zip, supposed to be a silent zip. So in here I have my medical kit, 
This is the Adventure Medical Kit. This is ma made for one to two people. So I've actually stuck some extra items in here, some Tylenol, some bigger bandages, and this will be just like a boo-boo kit, some aspirin, anything that I might need for a day out and about. So I commute probably about 30 or 40 miles away from my house every day to go to work. So I like to keep a little, you know, some things with me. This is my EDC, right? So this is a microfiber cloth that I'll use just for whatever. Right now, I'm gonna wipe my head with it because I'm kind of sweating. So this right here is a recyclable bag. And this is what I use to like carry a package into work or something like that. And then you can see the kind of the size of this mesh pocket is very big. You know, you can use this for all kinds of things. If you were packing, I can see you putting like your underwear and socks in this pocket or anything like that. All right, let's get to this main section. This is the main area, the wrap up, the finale. Right here we have the Peak Designs tech pouch. And this is what I carry all my tech in. Let's go through it really, really quickly. And I'll tell you what I have in there. I have a highlighter and a Sharpie right there. Then I have some cords for charging, USB, lightning, anything that I might need for charging my devices. Then I have a little charging block right there. I stick that in one of the little origami spots. I love this organizer because it makes your stuff just, I don't know, so easy to, to find inside of your bag. So right here I have a little anchor charge battery. This is the one that they call the candy bar, but I don't necessarily know. Let me see if it says on here. This is 52 milli milliamps of battery right here. So this will definitely be able to charge my phone about two to three times. I always keep that with me and it's charged up right now. So I stick that in there. And then in the middle slot right here, you have a little zipper pocket where I keep a little Victorinox knife, my rosary, because you might have to appeal to a higher power, never know what could happen. And here in this little tin, I keep some aspirin. I have a button compass that will, a little button compass right there if I need to get direction. And I keep a uh, extra battery that's for my flashlight in my bag and a SIM ejection tool right there so I can actually pop my SIM card out. So that's all I keep in the little zipper pocket in the middle of the bag. And then moving on, I keep a little change purse right here. This actually carries all of my cards for the bus, an extra Metro card. I put change in it. So if I ever have to pay a meter or something like that, I have change and then I carry my work iPhone. So old iPhone, but I need it for work. And then on the other side of the bag, I have a G2 Pilot pen, which is one of my favorite pens, a larger Sharpie, some headphones, because hey, you need headphones. And this thing is pretty cool. This is like a little USB light that you can plug in. I can plug it into my battery charger and give me light for a couple of hours if I need to read or something. Um, I'm on an airplane and that's all really I carry. Oh, I got one more thing. There's a little bit, there is a little sewing, a sewing, uh, what do they go? Sewing measuring tape right here. So if I need to measure something, I keep this cause it's super light and it can fold up very small. So on the outside of the tech pouch, there's one more little zipper pocket where I actually keep a Leatherman juice. That's my little Leatherman juice that I like to keep. I've had it for a while and I just stick it in this outside pocket if I need to fix something. Um, Leatherman juice is pretty cool. Let me try to get it in frame. Yeah, Leatherman juice is pretty cool. Does everything that I needed to do. A lot of different tools included. And this pouch is very awesome. I was apprehensive about this pouch at first because it's kind of expensive. It's like 60 bucks. But after having it, I don't know how I lived without it before. Then there's my sunglasses right here. I forgot the name of these sunglasses, but I'll link them down in this description. And these sunglasses are actually, I think they were fishing glasses at first, but I thought that they were pretty good. They're great for guys with larger heads. I have a big ass head. So I'll put these in my bag if the sun kind of um, comes down on us. 
at work and I'll just throw them on. Now the next thing I I have in my bag is this water bottle. This is the Camelback Shoot. And a lot of people use this water bottle because it's so damn awesome. It's got a kind of like a twist top to it. And once you twist it and lock it in, you know that this back, this water bottle is not going to leak any fluid out. So I really like this water bottle. It's about 20 ounces. And I think you could pick this up for like I don't know, like eight bucks or something online. In here, this is my Green Room 136 camera kit pouch. And in here I keep like my, my camera that I'm recording in right now. And it's big enough for me to keep a, a couple of extra lenses. Like this is a large uh, 17 to 55 made by um, Canon. And this is a ultra nice lens. I don't know how much I paid for it. I paid a nice little price for this lens, but it's pretty cool. And then on this side, I keep a Canon 10 to 18. So that's like a wide angle lens right here. So we got it pretty much emptied out. Just got a couple more things in here. This is the micro stream right here. Nice little light, uh, micro stream light. Nice little light. I got a little lanyard on there. I love this color tack um, paracord on everything. I put this kind of paracord on everything just so I can get an extra grab on it. Definitely helpful. And I stuck it in these Molly. This like another three rows of Molly right here inside of the bag. So you can attach additional pouches. I know Goruck makes a couple of them, but I didn't necessarily like the pouch pouches that go rogue sold that's why i got the uh peak designs tech pouch right here because i, I kind of wanted it to be mobile so i could pull it in and out of the bag really quickly the knife i choose to carry for like my everyday is this cut jack this is made by steel will and i'm still kind of getting used to this knife it's supposed to be a flipper but it's kind of tough and i actually like the knife a lot um, the D2 steel, it's got a great grab on this knife. You can actually got an extra little finger chill at the top so you can kind of choke up on it, do some fine work like if you were doing some whittling or something. Great grips on this knife. Um, again, like I said, D2 steel. So it's a little bit higher than that CR um, steel that I see in a lot of different knives out there. Pocket clip reversible pocket clip if you want to carry it and again it's a little tough I'm trying to flip it out right now and it doesn't quite want to work for me but I got it that time liner lock so you kind of push it off to the side and then kind of put it down all right continuing on I got another pilot pen right here G2 Remember, when you get these pilot pens, look for the 0.5 version. That's the thinner version. I like to write with thinner ink. So that's the 0.5. And then I have a little carabiner clipped in here with my little junky keys. And on here, this stuff hasn't really changed that much. I keep a little Coleman. This is a Coleman. Let's see if it focuses. This is a Coleman little compass and thermometer all in one. And then I'll also keep a night cord tube. I love this little light because you can actually charge it up using USB and it's got two modes, a low and a high. So it's enough to get you into the door in the night. And then I have a little rape whistle right here and a little pair of pliers. So not pliers, nail, fi uh, nail clippers, focus, <laughs> nail clippers. So. All of that goes right there. So I clip it onto this little carabiner right there. So inside the, the bag itself, it has a little section right here. This is where you're supposed to put your rucking plates, but George don't ruck. So in here, I have uh, my umbrella. This is a little totes umbrella that I have used for years. It's hard to find these totes umbrellas because they make them a little larger now. And I love the size of this thing. And then also I have a whole thing of baby wipes. And you're like, damn, George, what, why you need that big ass thing of baby wipes? Well, listen, I use these to wipe my hands with, hey, if you go a number two, you might need a baby wipe, you know? Not just wipe your, your thing with uh, that hard paper that's in the public bathrooms, you know? So that's what's inside of my bag right here. Can't complain about this bag at all. 
I love the fact that it's clamshell opening. So you can kind of see as I packing my stuff back up that everything kind of fits. I have no question that this bag will last for a couple of days of travel. Right now, this bag actually retails for $2.95. You can catch it on sale. Um, GORUCK's actually running a lot of sales right now for like Christmas holidays. They did a Veterans Day sale, and that's kind of where I picked this bag up. It was $2.65, and then I added a discount for being a member of the government. And so they give a discount to troops, first responders, government, and teachers. It's 25% off. By the time I chuck checked out it was 200 bucks so i got this bag that's usually three for two if i was to answer the question should you buy this bag for the 295 i say hell yes if should you buy this bag for 200 dollars right now and apply whatever discount you can get i say hell yes this bag is an awesome bag. I know the bag doesn't have all of the organization that I'm used to seeing in an EDC bag. It's only got a couple pockets, like three pockets, but those three pockets give me enough for my EDC. I love the size of it. For my size, I'm six, six foot tall, and this is the 26 liter version. So the 26 liter version is perfect for me. If you're a shorter guy, you might want to check out the 21 liter, but I almost say get the 26 liter to everybody, you know, even if you're a short guy, because why spend $300 on a bag and then not be able to travel with this same bag? Even if it's a little bit larger for EDC, I say go ahead if you're going to invest the money, unless you're going to go back and buy another Go Ruck for travel. If you got it like that, then go ahead. But I don't. So I have to buy a bag that's good for my EDC and for my travel. So this is my bag and I love it. Thanks for watching, George Define, guys. I'll leave links in the description box for all the things that was included in my bag. I got more backpacks coming up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.